Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. We just finished with the Ball Temple, I guess? Sure, why not? We'll call it a Ball Temple. You know what that means. You know what that means. I mean, if this is, we're comparing it not only to Dark Souls, but also to Zelda. It means we're going to see a Water Temple. I hate to say it, but it's probably true. We did learn a new ability though. It's always cool. Force push is great. What the hell is this? Oh well, Force Echo, sure why not? I'm not averse to learning new things. Gaining experience, I suppose, is what I should really say. What is this? Continue excavating. I want rare artifacts, not useless trinkets. Okay, so the Empire is excavating. No one should be surprised by this. This is a blast door. Um, resistant even to lightsabers. Resistant, not not proof, but still take more time we really want to take. When we can go another way. Oh, did I I apparently jumped way too early. Alright, let's try that again. You know, last time we went through these, I compared this to SSX. It's totally not. No tricks. Not doing any tricks. Um what? Oh, okay, we have an air thing. I got you. Easy. No problems. I get what we're trying to do here. Hate the rope, but it's only one rope. And we did it. Thank goodness. I think this actually might be... Oh, there's stormtroopers around. Uh, I was going to say it might be back to the ship already. Is this the way? Okay. That was a trap, apparently. Or an elevator. This is an elevator. I stepped on the key for the elevator tonight. Um, I think I want to go back, though. Yeah, I think I want to go back and fight those stormtroopers. Because there was also a big, giant force thing on the ground that I'm kind of curious about. Can I go back now, please? I'm going to have to wait for it to go all the way over, so it's going to be a longer trip than I'd like. What the hell was that? Weird glitchiness. All like it's happening again. Like there's some kind of refractory thing happening. It's very strange. Passing through water or something? Okay, can I open this up? I and mean, this is red. It's probably explosive, right? Red usually means explosive. Oh. This just took me... Why does that elevator exist? Okay. I'm very puzzled. I mean, I guess it's safer than going the other way? I'm very con... Okay, sure. I'm confused. Oh, this is this only a one-way elevator? Um, I'll have you know, I don't think there's actually this, such a thing as a one-way elevator. I'm very, very confused as to why. Maybe, you know, people like the section so much. It's like, well, I'd like to just do that again. And again, and again, and again, and again, please. Okay, well, we'll just put an elevator in it. Oh, okay. See, this is why I don't want to do it again and again. Because I'm bad at these sections. Also, what the hell do you think his boots are made of? To be able to do this. Do you think it matters what his boots are made of to be able to do this? You think he just has, like, no soles on his boots whatsoever? My boots have no soul. So I can't dance no jazz. That was a little close. That was a little narrow there, Cal. Okay, that was definitely death. I'm gonna die. A little help. It's funny I can stim in the middle of this though. That was my last stim. Didn't even realize it. I should definitely rest then. You gotta last you gotta jump at like the last possible second. Why did why does this exist? Why does this like, elevator exist? I didn't want to, have to do this section again. And now I've just completely fucked this up. If I die horribly, who gets the experience? Does the... Does the jump here get the experience? Because it kind of deserves it, to be fair. No, take, make the turn. I was pressing all the way to the left. This is why, by the way, PS4, PS4 does not have an SSX game. I'm going to get as steep. That's not quite the same thing, though. They have very small tolerance on these jumps. 
That jump's fine, just to get you to the east side of the uh, Oh yeah, by the way, there's gonna be jumps here. Okay, all the way to the left, all the way to the left. It didn't work. We've made this before. We've made this jump before, but now we're gonna die. I think we have all of our experience spanked. Oh, you need to move not only, okay, okay. You need to move not only that, what? The game just, just about killed me there. Because I made the jump, is the thing. And then Cal decided, you know what? No, I want to pose for a picture instead. No, Cal, no pictures, all right? So you need to move not only the camera, but also a Hal at the same time. You need to move both sticks. Why I don't, no, don't. The game just killed me. The game just killed me there. Okay, I have like zero health. Can it not actually kill me on a platformer? It doesn't know what to deal with that. It's like, you can't be that bad. It can't be anything, any scenario would possibly have to deal with. I'll tell you this right now. Yes, yes, you do have to deal with it. You have to deal with me. That's how this works. Okay, last one. This part is actually like trivial. Because I've done wall jumps like basically all of my gaming career. No problems. Okay, almost died there again, but we're gonna go ahead and rest. Please tell me this resting spot. Oh, thank God it is. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be a real world of hurt. Okay, don't take the elevator. That's the real lesson there, I think. Don't take the elevator. All right, nothing to learn in the skill tree right now. We're good. All right, BD, let's do this. So apparently they're excavating. Um, right. So that was. Yeah, the elevator just left, and we're never going to be able to use it again. Don't no idea why it exists in the first place, really, so whatever. Oh, hello. Oh, um, I don't suppose you want to talk about this. All right, apparently he's not willing to talk about this. Okay, two hits is probably all we get. Not able to slow him there. Was not not able to slow him at all. Actually, we don't have any force left. If we dodge away. We're fine. We have like no force left right now. Okay. Yeah, about two hits is over. About to let have. All right. We do have enough to be able to push him. Maybe. Okay. No, we can go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah. Please scan this thing. BD, can you, can you, thank you. The hell is this thing? Also, I don't want to gender it, so it's a Jotaz, apparently. Strong but slow. Strike after dodging any attack. Yeah, no kidding. Rapid strikes and or unconventional attacks will enrage and confuse the creature. Enraging sounds bad. We probably don't want to enrage. The Jotaz is a formidable and highly aggressive predator that utilizes brute strength to establish supremacy. A thick hide provides armor-like defensive support, but vulnerabilities may exist along the abdomen region where the skin is thinnest. What this creature lacks in speed is supplemented by forceful blows and an impressive reach of long forearms. Yeah, all right, I see it. I see it. He's got some neat speckling. I like it. Okay, well, I'm glad we rested here. Sure, scan this. What do we got? Oh, it's above us. Sound of destruction. Ooh. The MK270 Imperial Pulverizers are crucial for Project Augur, as the icy barriers in Zepho's cave systems require an incredible amount of power to break through. Even the Empire's specialty saws are not sufficient to break through this ice on their own. So they're coming through here with acoustic instruments, apparently. Alright, so we could come through the way that he came through, right? Where how do you bash how do you bash through at? Kind of unclear. Oh look at that, we're supposed to walk on the spinning thread things of death. Shortcut unlocked. Uh, if you say so, buddy. I don't know if I believe that. Okay, so we came through here, I think. Is that another meditation spot? No, it's gotta be just a force echo, right? Just ex yeah, just experience. Okay. That makes far more sense. Otherwise, it's way too close to the other one. I'll take the experience. There we go. Pull it up. Ooh, cave in. Is that what trapped the creature in here? 
An Imperial officer was trying to hide a relic down here. There was a cave-in. She became trapped and never escaped. Oh. That is, in fact, a dead person. You're right. Wow. Um, yeah. No matter what, how many rations you have with you, it's not going to be enough, right? I mean, if you have maybe a beacon, but... Alright, so there's a rope there. Very far away. That is too far away for us to be able to grab from here. Okay, so that's not the way to go. There's some scavs down there. I'm totally calling those guys the wrong thing, aren't I? Hold on, let's look at the data bank. Let's call these guys the right thing. So run Zepho. Uh, let's see. Zepho culture. Zepho culture? No, not Zepho culture. Not the villagers either. What about the... What about the fauna? It was in the tactical guide. Zepho, here we go. Scavs. Okay, no, I was calling the right thing. Oh, that's the Imperial thing. I was worried there for me, and I dodged no reason. All right, I thought I saw a Stormtroopers around here. Oh, there we go. Our Stormtroopers over there. Tempted to rest up again. I wonder if that'll call on the big guy again. I'd be okay with fighting him again to see if we could do it without him taking any damage. Could always use the experience. There's something down here, too. Um, Is there anything down here? Oh, yeah, there is. There's a box. Hello, box. Oh, we have bad guys. Hello. Okay. Yep. I should have pushed these guys away. If I had done force push, these guys would all have fallen off the edge. That would have been smarter. It's all right. Too late now. All right, BD, what do you got? So what was in there? Poncho material. Wayfarer. All right. You know what? I'm kind of tired of this spot outfit anyway. Sure, why not? Let's do it. So, Wayfarer outfit is this one. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Yeah, it's alright. Alright, we'll go ahead and keep it for a while. Not wild about it, but it'll work. Okay, let's rest up. Actually, we got a skill point, so it's probably a good idea to do that anyway. So, rest up. There you go. Skill tree. And what would we like today? Might as well go for the last force power, right? Mass push, kind of tempting. Or more health. Additional life when using a stim canister. You know, these two are pretty much combined, so either one of those is fine. Um, or the mass push. Now let's go this one. Maximum life. There you go. Okay, let's see if we need to fight the big guy again. I'm kind of hoping to. So he was over... Was he? There's a door up here. Where's this door go? We actually open it? We totally can. Door's that's locked. Okay, never mind. So that's what we come back here, apparently. Oh, yeah, there he is. Until he came back. Hey, guys. Okay. Let's see if we can do this without taking any damage. Two hits, that's all we get. Alright. Push him does not work. No. Three hits that time. Come on, buddy. What do you got? Oh, okay. I took damage. I took damage. Ooh, good pound. Didn't see that before. Oh, okay. Taking damage. There we go. That time we got the finisher. I really need a stem. All right, so we have to go this way. Um, probably just a jump, right? Didn't we already... I said we did a shortcut. Which I guess this technically is. Um, let's see. Who do we go to first? I guess we go this way. I don't know why we need the rope. I guess we'll get back. Okay, let's fight this guy. Hello there. Oh, okay, right. He can push me off the edge of the world. That totally makes sense. Oh, okay. Didn't realize we were starting on the platform with this guy. What the hell? <laughs> I was not expecting that. I thought we were going to start back like one platform back. That would have been smarter. 
give me a chance to actually, you know, think about my approach. But no, apparently that's not the way that works. All right, so we're going to fight the big guy again. That's all right. If we can do it without taking damage, great. So it looks like we're off to go on the spinning blades after we attack some more skags. The big guy dead still? No, there he is. Okay, yeah, the game just takes a little bit to load in. Let's try this. We can do this. Okay, it kind of seems to indicate we can be able to parry the regular moves, though, right? And if the other ones are red, we should be able to parry those. Maybe. I'm gonna try it. We can try it. Oh, there's red. That's red. Can't do that. Kind of work? Yeah, we didn't take damage from it. We didn't take damage from it. We actually parried it. We didn't parry that one, though. Definitely didn't parry that one, either. Okay, can we not take stupid Stim. damage here? Okay, apparently his heart is in his stomach, because that's the only way that actually makes sense. Alright. There's the guy with our experience. Let's go after him. I might be able to push him away. Just wonder if we can... Nope, can't do it. I thought maybe we'd be able to push him off the edge of the world. But at least he got the experience back. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Still at full health. Alright. I thought I saw a Stormtrooper with a... Yep, that's a missile launcher. Alright. I suppose I could force push the missile launch or the missile back, can't I? Oh! Okay. Yes, you can. That's actually kind of awesome. Sorry, man, but I've been tracking my parry repose, and you're not snuff. Sorry. That's how it goes. Okay, so you can totally push back the missiles that they launch. That's fantastic. Is this... This is an elevator. If I use this elevator, am I going to regret it? Because the last elevator, I kind of regret it. So maybe we won't use that elevator. Um, that's bounce, bounce, probably to a rope. Wait, is this... Hold on, I'm very confused about where I am right now. I'm very confused over which way I need to be going. I mean, I probably need to go on those spinning blades of doom, right? It seems like the spinning blades of doom have got to capture our attention. Not to mention there's another Stormtrooper over there. It also seems like I'm supposed to go this way. But let's go with Spinning Blades of Doom first. I think that is the feel to me of a dead end, whereas this seems like more of a continuation. I have no idea where this elevator goes. Um, it seems like it indicates that we're at the top. I don't know if that's true or not. Oh, yeah, we're at the top because we're supposed to slide down later. All right. Okay, so that's later. This then would be the dead end of maybe... Maybe some kind of bonus item. So let's go look at this. Take care of these skags. Uh, we could push them off. That'd be great. That doesn't seem very likely right now. Oh, maybe this guy. There you go. Easy. And easy. All right, no problems. This thing also seems pretty simple, just, you know, basically slow it down and run across. Oh, it has bots in it. We don't jump into... But we No, 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 I made that one. I was holding down X and everything, you stupid game. All right. All right, obviously that isn't true, because if it was true, it wouldn't have died. Right? Because what game would possibly have shortchanged us there? That's absurd. That's new, we have launcher. Hello. Give me a second. Gotcha. Definitely do not want to target you right now. Hold on. Oh my god, I dropped to my death. We need to go for the web launcher guy first. Oh, hello. God damn it. I mean, I did though? I've got him. You say that. Damn it. Alright. I mean, you almost did. 
And there it is. No, not there. Not there. Okay. Pariposa is just not working out. There it is. There it was. Little help. And she's in their elevator. This elevator is also at the top. Might just be an alternate way down. Oh, there's a box here. We should open the box. Hello, box. What do you got? Oh, we need a scomp link. It's like the second scomp link we've encountered. Or it's the second scomp link we need, rather. Alright, let's take the elevator. What do you got? This is going up. I thought we were going to be going down. Apparently it's going up. Okay. Let's go ahead and load the area, guys. It's fine. I'll just wait here. Don't worry about it. This elevator probably also doesn't go down because reasons. We're eventually going to get off this planet, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. Jeff has been great to us, but I'm kind of curious about going back to the original planet we were on and uh, seeing what we can do there. Because I'm pretty sure there's some pots we can do some force pushing. Those are boxes. Those are supplies, BD. Might be artifacts. Imperial excavation equipment. The level of dust suggests they've been sitting here a long time. Well, if someone's been here long enough to be buried in a cave-in and not rescued... Yeah, no kidding. Because that's the way back down. Apparently the elevators don't work for whatever reason. And a meditation spot. Alright. It seems early to meditate, but also we're down two stims, so... He was killed by a cave -in. Imperial excavation is making these tunnels unstable. Yeah, no one's surprised. The Empire is not exactly big on safety regulations. I mean, they probably should be. If anything, you'd hope they'd be more bureaucratic, not less, but that's apparently not the way that works. They're going for whatever gets them the promotion, and that means results. I suppose we can actually... Oh, Scomp Link must repair... Okay, so that maybe indicates we're going to get Scomp Link soon, hopefully. Otherwise, there's no reason to come up here. All right, so I'm assuming the elevator doesn't work, right? Yep, elevator doesn't work. All right. Typical Imperial nonsense. Right, don't fall off the edge, and don't run to a rock. No problems? Ah, right, okay. All right, these guys are back. So he just murdered his own friend there. Maybe. Okay. I mean, last time I killed you, but sure. Probably didn't even need to stop it first, but that just made me feel better. So he just killed his friend. Yeah, that's what happened there. Okay. So the last elevator didn't really work out for me. Let's see if this one does. You see her? I'm under an Imperial dig site. It got a lot further than we thought. We can't worry about that now. The Empire's identified you as the Jedi from Braca. They're searching for the Mantis as we speak. Can't you move the Mantis? It's too risky to start the engine. Its power discharge will draw their attention immediately. I'll be back as fast as I can. So that means, like, story-wise, you probably don't want to go back to Braca, but... Unlock-wise, you definitely, definitely do. That's weird. I mean, it's weird. It's weird having Metroidvania on multiple planets, really. Um, there's no reason to meditate here. We don't have any... Well, we have a slightly more experience, but not really all that much. Okay. I mean... If we wanted to go back, I suppose we could. At least we don't need a scomp link for this. Okay, no, we're good. All oh, right, we've already dealt with this. Okay, go and scan. What do you got? Like an imperial weapon? Scout trooper baton. Don't suppose we can pick this up. That'd be a lot less conspicuous than a lightsaber. No, no electro baton for me. All right. I'm looking this way, Scav. You won the fight. 
He also lost the fight, but that's different. I mean, there's the mantis right there. Really, we should probably just go back. Yeah, let's just go back. Oh, that's an that's an AT AT ATST. Hell, we've got a walker firing on us, and our weapons are down. Is that him? Tell him he better get his butt. Hold on, I'm on my way. Um, how are we supposed to deal with an ATST? Oh, okay. He's gonna launch a bunch of mines. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Give me stim. I need help. There we go. Okay, maybe like get up to his feet, maybe. He won't like that. He won't. He won't want me to do it. That was not helpful in the least. How the heck? Well, now we know why there was a rest point right there. Because now I have to go through all that whole section again in order to get there again. Or we had taken the rest point as we probably should. I made that rule, didn't I? I said that. I said that. The first time we went up against a boss-like thing and there was a rest point beforehand, it's like, oh, we're supposed to use a rest point. That's why. Got to bank that experience. So now the ATST has it. We just need to hit him again and be able to get it. But that's unfortunate. So chances are we're supposed to go for his legs, but he is going to drop those mines to make sure, you know, we can't because he knows exactly what we're trying to do. He knows we're melee on the build. If we were, you know, I'm just saying, if this guy took a page from Kyle Katarn, I would actually, you know, actually use a blaster. I don't ask for much in this world, but using a blaster does not seem like that would necessarily be a bad thing. Okay, you know, the whole civilized weapon for a civilized age type thing, but it's not a civilized age. It's not. It's definitely not a civilized age anymore. That's the whole point. Okay. Scav down, right? Yeah, scav down. No, no scav is not down. He's going to take out the scav. He probably tries to scav, scav more than me. Alright. We'll probably want to slow down the... Uh... We do that. Launch back at him, he dies. Well, that's not a big deal. It's just this loading screen right here is going to take a bit. And they're definitely served by a loading screen. On the upside, we have our three stims again. But I'm pretty sure we had that anyway, didn't we? Could have sworn. Could have sworn. Alright. I mean, not that the blaster would be able to do much against an ATST anyway, right? They're armored for a reason. They're basically tanks on legs. So shooting at them, you really need to go for the legs. Really, the joints is what you want to go for. I remember that being... I think that was... I don't remember if that was Dark Forces 2 or... I mean, I'm going to say 3. There was a third one, but it wasn't called Dark Forces 2. Or Dark Forces 3, rather. I forget what it was called. But I think it was that one where you had to use missile launcher specifically on the legs. No scale points. Might as well just rest. And leave. All right. Okay. Here we go again. Everybody now. Here we go again. Okay, ATST. Scabs first. Nice little experience. Oh, right, right, right. Get off of me. Okay. We just go for this. All right, ATST. What do we got? We got to get to him first. I think we book it. Probably the only way to make this happen. Ooh, can I go in? That would help. Go in the derelict hangar. Eh, probably not. That basically gets me into a close spot. That'll be bad. Yeah, so he drops the mines all around so we avoid the mines. We get up close to him. Get our experience in life. Okay. Run away. Nope. Run away, run away, run away. Run, please. Run, please. Apparently we're not running anymore. Oh, because we're locked on. Stop locking on. We need to run. Definitely avoid the missiles if you can. Definitely avoid the mines if you can. Is the deflection just going to be away, basically? It's not going to do anything for us. That's the mine. Step away from the mine. Stop locking on and run. Run, I said. Run, you fool. There we go. There's the run. 
Unless we just want to be away from him. Help! Good. Good, good. Run for it. This is the one time where we don't want to lock on immediately. He's down to half already, though. We got this. Okay. Good, good, good. Run, run. No locking on. Just run. Oh, come on. Run for it. I was right next to the mine. Run, please. It's the whole down and run, which I kind of hate. If I could hold down, like, R2 or something, that would work out better. Fortunately, we're pretty close to that. We almost got him. We have him down to what? A fourth of his health? Eh, probably more like a third, but still. We're making definite progress. So, the problem is that on the options menu, we have lock on immediately after attacking. Which is better than the original setting, which was lock on instantly. Which you also don't want. Sorry, Scav, don't have time to play right now. I mean, I guess I could if I wanted the extra experience, but that doesn't matter too much. Actually, maybe it would. If we did, like, four more times, it'd probably just level up. Okay, book it here, Cal. Okay, he's gonna drop a bunch of mines, just step away from the mines. Okay, basically three hits, and then run for it again. Yeah, because those are gonna explode. Don't want that to happen. No, stop locking on. This is gonna go where we were, not where we are. That's important. He's probably gonna drop mines again. Yep, there they are. Stay away from the mines, the electroshock mines. Oh, did they just explode when he steps on them? That's actually very helpful. Thank you. That's another mine. Step away from that. Okay, let's not not entertain that. Run, Cal. All right, he's gonna launch another missile, and that's fine. There's plenty of room in this hangar, so we got lots of room. Not even a hangar. Space work. Dock. This is a dock. There goes a missile. With plenty of time for the missile. He's gonna launch mines, but he backs away from the mines. And one, two, three. Run for it. Don't lock on. No lock on. Run for it. Run for it, Cal. You crazy man. You don't walk when there's an ATST around. You crazy. Help, Stim. Okay, drop the mines. That's good. That's on pro on progress. That's a mine. That's a mine. Step away from the mine. Step away from the ATST. Don't lock onto him, you crazy. Don't lock onto the ATST, you nuts. Run for it, please. Thank you. Not want to be around for the missiles. Anytime there's a missile, probably a bad idea to stick around. Those exploded. Thank you for backing up for me. Nicely done. All right. Worked out. If you want to scan him, go right ahead. It's accessible to sabotage if it's only grenades. Oh, and missiles, of course. I could have stopped the missile with slow time and made it go back on it. That makes total sense. I didn't even think about that. Didn't even think about it. I'll try to remember to do that next time. No no doubt. No doubt. We're going to get another ATST. Probably not an AT-80. -AT. Those are the four-legged ones. We probably are not going to see any of those. But we're probably going to see ATST. ATSTs are usually the... Well, I mean, it's going to say here. The Scout Walker, light whip, bipedal, two per person transport deployed for ground forces support in the Galactic Empire. They were often used for swift reconnaissance and targeting smaller threats that evaded the larger AT-ATs. Equipped with chin mounted medium blaster cannons capable of firing a range of two clicks, as well as side cannons armed with rockets and cushion grenades, targeting enemy vehicles and ground troops at close range. Yeah, the blaster cannons can be deflected. If they were turbo lasers, and that's one of the weapons an AT AT has. They would not be able to be deflected, but fortunately, blaster cannons are, they're strong, but they're, oh, okay, hello. Oh, it's the pilot. <laughs> the pilot came out and decided to fire on me. How did that did not work out well for you, sir? Okay, we got to go tell our friend here. Things are good. Hey, guys. All clear. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho Sage. They definitely used the Force. 
an advanced civilization of force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zeppo journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Kashyyyk, I, look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. It's not what I wanted to hear. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Oh, she's about to open up. to stop using the Force? When the purge started, and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. The Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan, Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings. But they caught me. And they tortured me. He wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. Yeah. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. She paused slightly on that no. I'm curious now if her Padawan is actually the Inquisitor that's after us. You would tell me, right? Alright, we can plant the new thingabob we got. It's getting there. Oh, we planted it. New seed. There you go. Nice. Alright, it's going to take a while to grow, but the seed's there. Alright, I'm tempted to go back to the first planet because we do have a new force power. We can talk to our friend here. Alright, pilot. What do you got? Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Everything okay? Okay. okay. Yeah, I'm great. Just enjoying some peace and quiet. All right. Now we have four planets on the hollow table. Do we go back? It's tempting. It's tempting. Right. So next. There's also um, Dathomir. I mean. According to the story, we're supposed to do Kashyyyk next, right? It says we've only got 36% of this explored. That's insane. We spent a while there. Okay. So that's Kashyyyk. We could go back to Bagano. My guess is we're probably best off... Probably best off holding off until we get another force power. I mean, really, really, for the most part, it's just going to be a bunch of secrets, but those are good to have. Once we hit end credits, though, that's going to be it. I'm going to be done with the game. I'd like to do as much as possible. We're not going to get 100% exploration on all planets. That's probably a little crazy. But 62% explored. All right. It says we can go to Dathomir. Let's go to Dathomir. What the hell? The Night Sisters will not be happy to see us, no doubt. But, um, tough shit. What could possibly go wrong? Wait a minute. You want to go to Dathomir? I'm surprised Cordova went there. He must have had good reason. I am staying put on the Manus once we arrive. Red sunlight cannot be good for your skin. This place used to be home to a powerful cabal of Force wielders known as the Night Sisters. Used to be? They used the Force? What, like Jedi? No. No. 
These witches served only themselves. Their powers focused on deception, illusion, manipulation. <laughs> Sounds like someone I used to know. During the Clone Wars, the Night Sisters made a deal with a Sith Lord who betrayed their trust. Darth Maul. In the end, they were nearly wiped out. In well, a no, they traded Darth Rathamir Maul for a Palpatine place. in order to live. We should be careful. Don't have to tell me twice. Palpatine basically said, "I can wipe you out, or you can uh, give me an apprentice." Coming up on our creepy destination. Grab some seat, kid. And Palpatine, yeah, basically forced them to give them Dar give him Darth Maul as an apprentice. It didn't really work out. He just wanted muscle. Hello, Dathomir. I do like the skin on the mantis. I like Cal, it a lot. Be careful here. Yeah, no shit. This is a deadly, dangerous place. No shit. Um, yeah, I'm prepared. I'm prepared to face anything. I know you are, Cal. One of the many reasons BD1 trusted you with Cordova's information. We're lucky to have you. All right. Thanks, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's possible we're here way too early, but I'm curious. I mean, if we get into a spot where we're just stuck and we can't do anything, we'll come back. We'll go ahead and go to Kashyyyk, but right now, if we can get anything from this place that will help us. Good thing we weren't standing there. What is that thing? Wouldn't count on him being friendly. I don't know. You might just want cuddles. That's what we're gonna call him. We're gonna call him Cuddles. I mean, he might not actually want Cuddles. He might want a lightsaber to the face, which we'll totally accommodate too, but for right now we're gonna call him Cuddles. Here, Cuddles. Here, boy. Cuddles. Oh, he did not like that. Okay. It's a baby Rancor. Yep, it's a baby Rancor. Whoa, all right. Oh, we got little, little creatures, too. Okay, just murder me instantly. Well, it wasn't that instant. We can take him. We can totally take him. I think maybe we slow him down. Yeah, I should be using slow time more often. That's what we should be doing. Slow time. But he looks like a juvenile Rancor. If I remember correctly, I do believe Rancor's were imported to Dathomir. They're not native. They're native to... They're native to... I think they're native to Felucia. Yeah, that sounds right. So Felucia is like a jungle planet, basically. Yeah, that sounds right. They were imported here for God knows what reason. I don't know, Dathomir Night Sisters probably use them for training their recruits. All right, we can totally take him now. I mean, come on. If the um, Knight Brothers, I forget what the male versions are, but sure, why not? We'll go with Knight Brothers. The Knight Brothers can handle these guys with Electro Batons. We should be able to handle this guy with whatever we got. So slow him down. There you go. So he comes towards us. Nope. None. Oh, okay. So we only get one hit. Gotcha. Look at that. Okay, we just want to definitely want to just take you from behind there, not to be all dirty about it. I thought I hit the slowdown button. Did not work. There we go. Throw it! I was a little close, but we're gonna get there. Run out, of force, run out of force powers there. Oh, come on. Thank you. Lesser Nidak, actually. Stim. That feels better. 
I pulled a strong defense against its aggressive and relentless attacks. Oh, I could probably parry to most of those, or block most of those at least. Referred to in legend as the Scourge of Dathomir, the deadly lesser Nidak, is an agile and highly aggressive and awful predator. Its carnivorous appetite and relentless pursuit of prey makes it a deadly foe near as nearly all other life forms. Powerful arms allow it to traverse terrain in diverse and unparalleled methods, often surprising its quarry. Alright. I suppose it's way too early for a spot to, uh, to meditate, is it? Probably is, yeah. Alright, nevertheless, though, go ahead and call it here. So, thank you for watching. This has been Star Wars Fallen Order. I'm Peace Universe, you're Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.